in fact used to be the best deck in all of the land. Just ask the boss, he'll tell you tales of triumph and domination. But more recently, Infect has been relegated to the budget bin. But that's perfect, because today we're going to use the element of surprise to spread the sickness and strike down unsuspecting opponents with some relatively new additions like Royal Treatment, Venerated Rot Priest, and Preordain. We're about to drop knowledge on these zoomers and introduce them to Infect. The boss would be proud. There have been rumors of Infect's demise. Let's see if they're overstated. We're on the play. Let's take it. Seven looks good to me. We'll keep it. We we'll start with our Misty Rainforest. We'll fetch it out. Breeding Pool, Shock, and a Noble Hierarch. Opponent leads with a Bloodstained Mire, a Fetch. Sacred Foundry, could be Burn. Goblin Guide, would love a land. No land. Bladed Agent on top. We're at 15. Let's kind of start preordaining to start, see if we can find a land, and we do. Along with the Mutagenic Growth. I think we're going to keep that. We'll keep the Heath. We'll fetch basic, play out our Rot Priest, leave up Spell Pierce. Back the other way. Bloodstained Mire, Monastery Swift Spear, Fetch, Sacred Foundry Shock, Lava Spike. Prowess is going to trigger, and I think we're going to pierce this spite. Need to protect our life total here. Take four, we're going down to ten. Spell Pierce on top. Play out our Bladed Agent, move to combat, hit for one. Exult is going to trigger. Two damage, one infect. Back the other way. Attack from our opponent, Might of Olcrosa on top. Uh, we'll take a hit for three. Rift Bolt, Rift Bolt. All right, coast is clear. Start with our Might of Olcrosa. We'll trigger the Rot Priest. Bladed Agent, a 5-5. Five, five. Distortion Strike, 6-5. Move to combat, attack for seven. And that does it, we're up a game. We're gonna shave three Mutagenic Growths and a Preordain, bring in three Spell Skites and a Fluster Storm. Opening seven, let's try it. Basic Mountain, Swift Spear. We're at 19. Draw into a Distortion Strike. Start with a Sanctum into a Rot Priest. Sunbake Canyon. Second Swift Spear, Path to Exile. We actually are happy about that. Rot Priest is gonna trigger. Grab ourselves a forest. We're gonna take four. We're at 15. Drew into a Spell Skite, which is pretty good. Let's get down another Rot Priest first and Spell Skite next turn. Fun moves to combat, cracks for two, and a Boros Charm putting us down to 11. And then we're going down to seven. Move back to our turn. Drew into a Glistener Elf. Spell Skite, we'll attack it with the Rot Priest. They're at two, in fact. Fun attacks for two. We'll block one of them, another Boros Charm. So we'll go down to one life. Unfortunately, I don't think we can redirect this. I think there's a good chance we'll just lose from here. Uh, move to combat, swing for one. We need one more turn. Three, in fact. Back the other way. Land, fetch, Sacred Foundry, shock. Searing, blaze, and that is going to be it. Uh, we'll concede. Uh, the seven card hand looks good to me. We'll keep it. We're going to play out our Botanical Sanctum. Pass the turn. Inspiring Vantage, Goblin Guide. Draw into a Nexus. And a royal treatment. Play out a Pendlehaven and a Glistener Elf. Golding Tarn Fetch, Basic Mountain, attack for two. Another Nexus. Uh, we'll take two. Tun suspends a Rift Bolt, fires off a Lava Spike. We'll Spell Pierce that. Back to us. Another Botanical Sanctum. So we can get our Nexus out, or we can play out our Blighted Agent with protection. I think, I think we play out the Sanctum, tap, attack with the Elf, play out the Agent, pass the turn. Rift Bolt pointing at me. Land. Searing Blaze targeting the Blighted Agent. Uh, we're going to cast Royal Treatment, targeting the Agent. Opponent contemplates an attack, does not. Takes one, skewers the critics, we're down to seven. Distortion Strike is a pretty good one. Play on an Ink Moth. So this turn, I think we simply attack for three. Opponent blocks the Glistener, and we'll pump it. Pass the turn back. Seven life, opponent with three cards in hand. Plays a land, and a Boros Charm. We're at seven. We're going to Fluster Storm that. Opponent fetches, shocks in a sacred foundry, pays for one, pays for two. We're down to three. Back our way. Drawn to a preordain. Play on an ink moth. Add a mana. Animate. Distortion strike on the glistener. Binds with kicker. Combat. Swing for nine. And we win the match. One and oh. Second match, we get the play. We'll take it. Opening seven, this looks like a keep to me. Opponent's on a six card hand. We're going to leave with a misty rainforest. Shock. Breeding pool. And a preordain. And I think I like both of those. We'll top, top. Put him with a Blooming Marsh into a Delighted Halfling. Draw our scale up. Play out an Ink Moth Nexus. And I think we're going to lead on this Blighted Agent. Pass the turn. Put him with a the Verdant Catacombs. They fetch. Basic Swamp. Likely a Bowmaster? Nope. Wall of Roots. Into a Bowmaster. Into a Young Wolf. Okay. Untap. Draw into a Vines of Vastwood. Play out a second Ink Moth. Turn our Ink Moth into a 1 1 Flying. Move to combat. Attack for 2. Opponent has 2 Infect. Representing a Bowmaster. 
cast out a Bowmaster, triggers, targets the Ink Moth. I think we're okay with that. Four mana, a Yogg Moth. Don't think we can beat that. We'll just scoop it up. I think we just need to get them dead quickly. We're going to board in three Veil of Summers, board out two Spell Pierces and a Hierarch. We'll take the play. Seven, Lacking Land, we'll Mulligan. Six is much better. We'll keep this. I think we're going to shave the Hierarch. Opponent's on a Mulligan to five. We'll start with a Waterlock Grove into a Venerated Rot Priest. Opponent overgrown Tomb Shock into a Young Wolf. Play on an Ink Moth Nexus. We're going to Distortion Strike. This Rot Priest is going to trigger. Move to combat. Swing for two. Opponent has two Infect. And tap. They fetch. Basic Swamp. Two mana. Wall Verts. Nothing else. Untap. Distortion Strike. Target our Rot Priest again. Opponent gets another Infect. Drawn to another Mutagenic Growth. This should just be lethal. Activate our Ink Moth. Move to combat. Attack with the team. Four damage. Mutagenic Growth. Target the Ink Moth. We get an Infect from the Rot Priest. We'll do it again. All right, moving to game three. Game three, we're going to board down on Hierarchs and board up on Spell Skites. Seven looks like everything we would want. We'll keep it. Fun with an Overgrown Tomb, Shock, Hierarch. Drawn to a Waterlog Grove, we'll Shock out a Breeding Pool. Play a Rot Priest. Colony Garden, Trigger, into a Hepatra. Seems pretty good against this deck. Untap. Drawn to a Distortion Strike, which is pretty good. We'll play out an Ink Moth. Start with Combat, Swing. Fun with Blocks. Play out a Spell Skite. Pass the turn. Fun with a Wall of Roots. Another Wall of Roots. Nothing else. Second Might of Alcrosa. Waterlog Grove. Okay, I believe we have Lethal here. We're going to start with Distortion Strike on the Rot Priest. It's going to trigger. Opponent has one Infect. Might of Alcrosa on the Rot Priest. Two Infect. It's a 6-6. Six, six. Oh, no we don't. Never mind. I messed up. Move to combat. We'll swing for six. Opponent's only going to take one Infect. I forgot. This is Toxic and not Infect. A little bit of a mess up there. End of turn. Opponent activating their Wall of Roots. They're going to Court of Calling. X equals 2, likely a Blood Artist, and it is, which means a Yawgmoth's coming down next turn, which will be lethal. There's Yawgmoth, sacrifice the Hierarch, trigger Blood Artist, and this is going to be game. Round 3, we get to play. We'll take it. Opening 7, we don't have any Infect creatures. Preordain can help us find one, though. I think you're supposed to mulligan this, but we're going to keep. Pun Son of Mulligan the 6, start with a Forest, into a Noble Hierarch. Pun with the Steam Vents, a Shock, and a Lightning Bolt, unfortunate. Untap. Draw into a Rot Priest. We'll play that out. Back the other way. Opponent with a Preordain. Misty Rainforest. Back to us. We draw into a Grove, which is pretty good. Can make use of our Preordain. Play that out. Start with combat. Attack for a 1. Activate the Grove. Preordain. Two Blighted Agents on top. Uh, I think we'll keep those. Let's keep one of them. Back the other way. Here's our opponents doing nothing. Back to us. We draw into a third land, which is excellent. Play that out. Move to combat. And we'll just attack for a 1. Continue to be patient. Fun with a consider. Mark tied to the graveyard. Fetch. Steam Vents tapped. 1 mana for a Ragavan. Back to us. We draw a second Might of Alcrosa. Start with an attack. Swing for 1. Fun and blocks. Got some Eugenic Growth on our Rot Priest. It's going to trigger. Rot Priest is a 3-4. Ragavan's gone. We play out our Blighted Agent. It's going to meet a Spell Snare. Back the other way. Preordain. Another Ragavan. Back our way. Draw into a Breeding Pool. Start by drawing a card. Find a Dryad Arbor. Not the greatest. Uh, we'll move to combat. We'll attack for one. Opponent blocks once more. Might of Alcrosa. Targeting the Rot Priest. Opponent's at four Infect. Play out a Dryad Arbor and pass the turn. Opponent with a Lightning Bolt. It's going to hit down our Rot Priest. And a Mark Tide. Drawn to a Hierarch. We have enough spells to deal lethal. Shock in a Breeding Pool. I'm going to cast Scale up on this Dryad Arbor. And Might of Alcrosa. And I'm going to move to combat. Let's attack for ten. My opponent doesn't block. Become immense. See if they have a force of negation. Doesn't appear they do. That's 16 damage. And they're dead. Regular damage, the old fashioned way. This matchup feels like it's all about protecting our creatures. We're going to board out two distortion strikes, four noble hierarchs, and a mutagenic growth. Bring in mystical dispute, veil of summer, fluster storm, and ley line. Uh, I really like this seven. We'll keep it. Opponent plays out a misty rainforest. Back to us. Real treatment's an excellent draw. Uh, we'll start with the breeding pool. Tapped. Pass the turn. Opponent fetches. Shocks. And a consider. They keep a card on top. Basic Island, Preordain. They put two on the top. Back our way. Second Royal Treatment. Excellent. Play out a Forest and a Glistener Elf. Plute a Delta from my opponent into a Lightning Bolt. I think we're going to cast Royal Treatment. My opponent Fluster Storms the Royal Treatment. Can't pay for it. Glistener's dead. Draw for turn. Find a Preordain. Play out an Ink Moth and a Blighted Agent. Back the other direction. Opponent leads on Iteration. Spire Bluff into Exile. Put it into play. Back our way. Draw into a Misty. Play out that Misty will fetch. Get a Breeding Pool. We'll shock it in. We'll start with a Preordain. And I think I like both of those. We'll top, top. 
Wound to combat. We'll swing for one. Opponent has one infect. Fetch from my opponent. Stevens, shock, and a consider. I exile a bobble, and draw a card. Preordain. I put one top, one bottom, play out a scalding tarn, back this way. There's the might. Just move to combat, attack for one. Opponent has two infect. Opponent with an unholy heat, targeting the blighted agent. Sure. I fetch end of turn, steam vents, tapped. Scalding tarn, and a fury, hard cast. Fury triggers, back this way. So we're on a little bit of a clock now. Play out a blighted agent, sticks, pass the turn. Opponent fetches end of turn, basic island, back their way. It's an attack for six. They have four cards in hand. Untap. Drawn to a vines. The question is, do we go for the kill this turn? They have four cards in hand. Or do we just animate the ink moth and attack? It could have a subtlety. Let's start with the Might of Olcrosa. Opponent with an unholy heat targeting the blighted agent. We'll mutagenic growth it. They have a fluster storm. We could be in trouble. They force a negation targeting the mutagenic growth. Cast Mystical Dispute. Opponent spell pierces targeting Mystical Dispute. And they have one mana up. All right, see what they got. We'll pay for it. Okay, opponent takes seven infect. They're at nine. We're at nine life. Good die to a bolt. And we win. All right, two and one. Jumping into our fourth match. Opening seven looks good. We'll keep it. Opponent leads with a razor tide bridge. So we're playing against Infinity. Drawn to a distortion strike, which isn't bad. We're going to start with our rot priest, passing it the other way. There's a saga from our opponent. Bobble to a cranial plating. We draw to a glistener elf, which is very, very good. I'm going to fetch breeding pool. Shock. Play on a Hierarch. Play on an Elf. Move to combat. We'll swing for two. Opponent is at one infect. Saga goes up to two. Ornithopter. Thoughtcast. Sure. Draw two. Another Bobble. Darksteel Citadel. Plating on the Ornithopter. Back our way. Draw to a Sanctum. We'll play that out. We're going to start with a Scale Up. Targeting the Glistener. It's going to trigger Rot Priest. We're going to Distortion Strike the Glistener. Trigger the Rot Priest. Play on a second Hierarch. And our opponent scoops. Turn three. Up a game. I don't think we need to do much here. Two seal sabotage in, two royal treatment out. Game two, I like our seven. We'll keep it. Opponent leads on a welding jar, ornithopter, glimmer void, spring leaf drum. Moving our way. Draw a second rot priest, which is excellent. We'll play it out. Pass the turn back. Opponent with a dispatch to exile our rot priest. They'll get one infect. They untap. Urza saga. Back our way. Draw into a second mutagenic growth. Play out our ink moth. Play out our rot priest and a metallic rebuke. Sure. Saga goes up to two. It's going to be a bobble. Back to us. Draw Steel Sabotage. Can't cast it though, unfortunately. Uh, I think we lead on our Glistener Elf. And just pass it back. Fun with the Construct. End of turn. 5-5. Five, five. Activate the Saga again. Two 6-6 six, six Constructs. And an Aether Spellbomb. Sojourner's Companion. And a Memnite. 9-9. Nine, nine. Now if we draw land on our next turn, we can just win. When it attacks for nine, we'll take it. Down to 11. Look at our top card. Untap. They draw off the bobble. Oof, so close. Likely just gonna lose. Let's see. See how our opponent plays it. Opponent untaps. Mirror Enforcer. Another Ornithopter. Okay, that's gonna be lethal. We'll scoop it up. Game three, we'll just submit. We'll take the play. Seven is very interesting. Uh, I'm gonna keep it. We'll see if this is good enough. The Pithing Needle pretty much just kills us now. Opponent's on a mulligan to six. We're gonna start with a Windswept Teeth Fetch. Shock out a Breeding Pool and a Preordain. And I think we're going to top top. Pass the turn. Opponent with a bridge tapped. Ornithopter. Bobble. Back to us. Drawn to a Misty. We're going to play out the Ink Moth and the Rot Priest. We'll pass the turn. Darksteel Citadel. Thoughtcast draw two. Mem Knight. Okay, back our way. Drawn to a Blighted Agent. Not bad. Start with an attack for one. And it takes it. One Infect. We're going to fetch. Shock it another Breeding Pool. Preordain. Second Blighted Agent plus a Hierarch. I think we're going to bottom the Hierarch. We'll put the agent on top. Play out the agent. Pass the turn. Memnite. Saga. Mirror Enforcer. Attack for one. We're down to 13. Opponent looks at our top card. Drawn to a Glistener Elf. Not great. We'll play out a second Ink Moth. Move to combat. Swing for one. Opponent's up to two Infect. Second Blighted Agent. Metallic Rebuke. Not surprised. Glistener Elf. Pass the turn back. Opponent's up to three cards in hand. Saga up to two. Attack for four. Go down to nine life. Untap. All right, we draw into a Vines of Vastwood. Play out an Ink Moth. We're going to Might of Elkrosa, targeting the Blighted Agent. Okay, it is currently a 5-5. Five, five. Move to combat. Also going to fire up an Ink Moth. We'll attack for 6. Okay, Ornithopter blocks. Opponent has 8 Infect. We make a Construct. Pretty big. Saga ticks up. Add a mana. I wonder if Shadow Spear is just lethal here? Might be. Springleaf Drum. Opponent leads with a Thought Monitor. 
triggers. Draw two. Land tapped. Cranial plating, sure. Okay, opponent equips their cranial plating, moves to combat, and attacks. Animate my ink moth, move to blocks, block the ornithopter, block the construct. Take four, go down to five. Untap. Kind of scale up on the blighted agent, it's gonna trigger the rot priest. And we win. Three and one. Match five, we're on the play, we'll take it. Opponent reveals a gigantha, and our seven is acceptable, we'll keep it. Start with a breeding pool, shock, and a rot priest. Opponent with a flooded strand, a fetch, steam vent shock, and they bolt our rot priest, rude. They get an infect. Drawn to a mutagenic growth, not bad, we'll play at our nexus. We'll pass the turn. Opponent fetches with a windswept teeth, probably a renin six. Overgrown tomb, shock, and a shoba brawler. Got it. Back our way. Drawn to a noble hierarch. Pretty good. Play it out. Play out a nexus. Add a mana. Activate our nexus. And we're going to attack in for two. Opponent has three infect. Fledge strain from our opponent. Attack for four. They fetch. Shock in the sacred foundry. We take five. Down to 13. Workish bowmaster's second main is going to hit our hierarch. Back our way. Drawn to a second might of Volcrosa. I'm going to start by animating our ink moth. Opponent could be representing another lightning bolt. Move to combat. Attack in for one. They're up to four, in fact. Play out a Dryad Arbor. We'll pass it back. Opponent dashes into Ragavan. Sure. Plays out a Temple Garden. Shocks. They attack with the team. I'll block the Ragavan. I cast Might of Alcrosa on my Dryad Arbor. Opponent with a Stubborn Denial. Sure. We're down to six life. Two cards in their hand. So opponent only has green and white up. Drawn to a Blighted Agent. Add a mana. Activate our Ink Moth. Cast Might of Alcrosa. Move to combat. Attack for five. Before damage. Mutagenic Growth. Opponent's dead. We're up a game. Game two, we're going to bring in spell skites and shave some hierarchs. Opponent keeps their seven, and I think we'll keep our seven. Sacred Foundry Shock, Ragavan. Sure. Second Royal Treatment. We'll start with an Ink Moth and pass the turn. Windswept Teeth, attack for two. We're at 18. They reveal a Glistener Elf. They fetch, play out a Kabu. Drawn to a Might of Alcrosa. Play out our Sanctum. They have four cards in hand. We need two more turns, unless for some reason this Blighted Agent lives. We'll play it out now. Pass the turn back. Opponent leads with an attack. Discard a Ragavan. I think we're going to take this hit. We'll go down to 11. Ragavan triggers. We get a Distortion Strike. Play out a land. Tribal Flames targeting the Blighted Agent. Okay. They fetch. Basic Forest. Second Kabu. Back our way. We find a Preordain. We'll lead with that. Second Ink Moth and a Vines of Vastwood. Uh, we're going to bottom both of those. Draw into a Distortion Strike. Play out the Dryad Arbor. And we'll pass the turn. Opponent with attacks, two Kabu triggers. Uh, we will block one of the Kabus. We're down to four life. Ragman triggers, another Glistener Elf. Opponent does nothing. Drawn to a Pendle Haven. Unfortunately, this is going to be not enough. We need to be on the play. We'll concede. Game three. We're on the play. Seven. I think we can keep this. Opponent keeps our seven. Start with a Sanctum into a Rot Priest. Opponent's turn. Windswept Teeth, Fetch, Temple Garden, Wild Nakadal. Back our way. Drawn to a Scale Up. Not terrible. And play out an Ink Moth into a Blighted Agent. And we'll pass the turn. Opponent fetches, shocks into Steam Vents, swings in for three. We're down to 17. And a Leyline Binding, targeting the Blighted Agent. Sure. Back our way. Draw into a Noble. Play out the Pendle Haven. We're going to activate our Ink Moth. Scale up, targeting the Ink Moth. It's going to trigger the Rot Priest. Move to combat. Attack with both. Before damage, Mutagenic Growth. Two Infect, up to 10 Infect. And they scoop. Four and one. Beautiful. So it seems the rumors of Infect's demise were largely overstated. Venerated Rot Priest, the MVP, goes a long way to make this deck playable on a budget. If you're looking for some fun and not looking to spend a lot, give Infect a try. <laughs>